Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a fun review and demo of some really fun products from Maybelline and Gigi Hadid's new makeup collection. I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you guys and also show you guys how most of these products work. So without further ado, let's just jump right into the review. I've used, I think, 90% of the products so far, maybe even more, 95% of the products so far. So I'm really excited that I have used them before. So it's not really a first impressions, it's more of a review. So jumping right in, we're gonna start with the face. There are two main face products that came with this collection, and that is the Tinted Primer and also some liquid strobe creams, which I was really excited about. So the liquid primers, I have the two shades, light medium and medium deep. I tried light medium and I was like, whoa, when I first put it on my face, I didn't think that it was gonna blend in nicely. I was a little bit concerned that I was gonna have to take it all off and restart because it really does look like a dark shade. It did blend into the skin quite nicely, but I was pretty nervous about it. So this is light medium right here, and this is medium deep. So you can see that there's a little bit of a difference, but that is pretty dark when you first swatch it, but it does blend really nicely into the skin. And it didn't, in my opinion, make me look orange. That being said, I definitely think I would probably be more on the light shade because I do think that it was a little bit too dark, but it blended into my foundation really, really nicely. And overall, it was a nice primer. I think that this would also be really great for a no makeup makeup day. If you are even just going to the gym or something, but you want just a tad of coverage, I think this would be really great because it does give you a little bit of a sheer coverage. And I'll have all the prices kind of fly by so I don't have to kind of dig for them all, but Overall, I really did like the concept of these, but I just don't think either of these shades matched me. So I think I would need to go down a shade to like a light, um, or if there's a one in between light, medium, and light, then I would probably go for that one. But these shades were a little bit too dark for me, but I do really like the sheer tinted primer concept. So the next face products were the strobe creams. I was really excited about these because I love liquid highlighters. I love combining them with other highlighters. So I got the chance to try the iridescent one. Yeah, I got the chance to try the iridescent one, but there is also a gold one. And I really like the formula on this. It blended into my skin really nicely with a damp beauty sponge and it didn't leave any like streak down my face or anything like that. It also applies really nicely on top of your makeup so it's not gonna move around your foundation or anything like that. And powders do work on top of it which is very important to me because I love doubling up my creams and powder highlights together. One thing that I like about these creams is I find that they are very, very intense. So I just swatched them both on my hand. So this one here is iridescent. As you can see, it definitely is true to its name. And then this one is gold. And as you can see, it has a really pretty bronze to it. Moving on to the eyes, there is two different palettes and sets. Basically, there's a cool tone and a warm tone, so I actually got to play with both of them. Today, I am wearing the cool tone, and in my demo clips, I am wearing the warm tone. So here is the warm tones palette, and here is the cool tones palette. Each palette comes with five shadows and they range from satins to mattes and also some really pretty shimmeries. They were all very easy to work with. I felt like they were pigmented and I didn't have any troubles blending them out on either of the palettes today and the other day when I was using the Warm Tone. I think I gravitate more towards the Warm Tone palette, but I was happy that I was able to build a really easy look because for me personally, since I use so many warm tone palettes, when I see a cool tone palette, I'm like, whoa, what do I do? But for this one, it was still very easy for me to build a look and they're both super beautiful and I highly recommend them. Also, it came with a really cool mascara. So this is one of the fiber mascaras and I have reviewed a fiber mascara here on my channel before. It was from Unique and I actually really, really like this. The only issue I have with fiber mascaras is that it is a little bit more time consuming. So if I'm going to go that extra mile, Usually I just pop on lashes, but if you want it to look a little bit more natural, then I would recommend this. Or if you just can't stand the way that false lashes feel, then I definitely recommend fiber mascaras. This one was very easy to use. Basically, you just coat your lashes with mascara, apply the fibers onto the mascara while it's still wet, and then apply mascara on top. Basically, the fibers are gonna enhance your natural lashes and just make them look thicker, longer, and more voluminous. And the mascara formula is actually really nice as well. I used it so low on my lower lashes and really liked the wand. It's a really nice, easy to use wand, especially on the lower lashes, because I find sometimes the Maybelline wands are so 
so big that I struggle with it on my lower lash line. So I actually really like this mascara. I'm definitely gonna be using it um, both sides of it, the fiber and just the regular mascara because I'm, I've always been a huge Maybelline mascara fan and I like the packaging and it worked really, really nicely. And there are many days where I don't wanna put on false lashes, like work, I don't wanna wear false lashes for eight hours. No thank you. So fiber mascara is definitely a lifesaver. If you want to elongate and thicken your lashes, definitely give fiber mascara a try. It just takes an extra five minutes and I like to work one eye at a time. Next up for eyes are actually some tools. We got two brushes in the kit. One of them is, one of them is an eyeshadow brush and then the other is a eye contour brush. So basically we have a flat top brush that's really great for your shadows that you want all over the lid. And then an angled brush, which is also really great for in working in the crease, the outer V and just kind of blending things out. I didn't really care for the angled kind of brush, but this one here, the flat one, I really liked for pressing on powders onto the lid of the eye. Next up we have eyeliners. In the collection there are three eyeliners. There is a liquid felt tip liner, which I actually did not like only because I can't use it. If you like felt tip liners, I'm sure you'd really like this one because it is super black. Like I barely, barely, barely touched my hand. I'm just super out of practice with felt tip liners. I never use them. I used to use them all the time when I was younger, first getting into makeup and now I never ever use them, but it is really, really dark and it didn't smudge at all. I just had a horrible time doing my wing. Like they were totally uneven. I don't know what happened, but it is a good liquid liner. If you do like the felt tip, I highly recommend it. And if you are just trying to get into eyeliner, felt tip is how I first started and I really liked it. We also have two gel liners. We have a nude and a black one. The nude one, I'm not too big of a fan of. I just felt like it wasn't the right shade for me personally, but it glided onto my waterline like no problem. And then today I used the black one and same thing. It really, really was black. I was so impressed because there's a lot of liners on the market that are just tug too much on that area and it's so sensitive. This one was like a breeze, it glid, it glid. It went on so smooth and I really feel like it's gonna last a long time like so far It hasn't budged whatsoever and I have really really watery eyes and I wear contact lenses So so far no irritation and it's lasting pretty good I also smudged this on my lash line on top to kind of blend my lashes in. I was struggling putting my lashes on this evening um, And this worked really well to kind of conceal any areas that my lashes weren't perfectly lined up So really enjoying these guys moving on to our last products which is the lips one of my favorite parts I am wearing a shade right now I am wearing the shade Erin and I love it in my previous makeup look when I used the warm tone palette I was wearing the shade and correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure it's Kair but I might be wrong and I'll have all the information down below and there's also two other shades there is a really pretty nude and this shade here is called McHale. And then there's also another red, which is more of a blue red, which I really, really love for the holidays. Reds with a blue undertone really help make your lips look nice and white. And this shade is called Lanny. So that wraps up this review. Overall, I'm really digging this collection. I think it's so chic. I love the packaging, especially how it's like kind of that KKW kind of blush rose tone. And then it has like the gold writing on it. Just for example, I'll show you guys one of the lipsticks. Like I just, think it's so sleek and that Maybelline and Gigi did such a great job. I can't remember if I said it in my intro so I'm gonna say it now but I just want to disclaim that Maybelline did send me these products and the prices are really affordable and that's one thing that I've always loved about Maybelline is that they're super affordable but the packaging, the quality of the product, everything is so high standard and I love it. Maybelline is definitely one of my favorite drugstore brands. I've been using them since I was like a little kid so they're close to my heart. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.